بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہاؤ آر یو مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہوپ فلی آل آف یو ول بی ویری مچ کمفرٹیبل یو نو دا ورلڈ از فیسنگ اے ہاریبل پینڈیمک دیز ڈیز سو یو مسٹ اڈاپٹ دا پریکاشنری میجرز ٹو کیپ یور سیلو اینڈ یور لوڈ ون سیف ہیپی اینڈ ہیلتھ بٹ یو مسٹ ناٹ فرگیٹ اباؤٹ یور ایجوکیشن لیٹس اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز لیسن اور ٹو ڈیز لیسن از دا تھرڈ پلر آف اسلام The third, sorry, the third article of faith is our today's lesson. Third article of faith is our belief in revealed books. Muslims strongly believe that Allah Almighty has revealed books to different prophets, alayhi musalam, as a source of guidance to the mankind. The human beings need guidance to carry out their duties and responsibilities. This guidance is contained in these books. The message in these books is basically the same. The message in these books is basically the same. The principles of religion related to the oneness of Allah, his attributes, belief in prophets alayhim salam and the concept of the day of judgment are common to all revealed books however as the need of the people differed in different areas and periods the details of the laws also varied a muslim cannot be a righteous believer without having true faith not only in quran but also in all other scriptures revealed before. Revelation is not the result of the Prophet's own thoughts or knowledge, but it is a message of Allah. Allah sent two types of books, Suhuf and Qutub. What are two types? Suhuf and Qutub. Suhuf means scriptures with brief message means short message and kutub are the large books with detailed message suhuf were sent to adam alayhi salam ibrahim alayhi salam and other prophets alayhi salam books were revealed to four prophets alayhi salam So first of all, we are going to learn about Zabur. Zabur was revealed to the Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. Allah says in the Holy Quran, and we bestowed Zabur on Dawood. This is the verse number 163 of Surah number 4. The actual copy of Zabur is not available now in the world. Torah. Torah was revealed to the Prophet Musa alayhi salam. It, uh, it is also known as Old Testament. Allah says in the Holy Quran, He revealed the Torah and Injil, the guidance for mankind before. This is the verse number 3 of Surah number 3. Injil. Injil was revealed to the Prophet Isa alayhi salam. It is also known as New Testament, Bible and Gospel. Three different names are there. New Testament, Bible and Gospel. Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, and we bestowed Injil upon Isa. This is the verse number 27 of Surah number 57. Quran. Quran was revealed to the last messenger and prophet of Allah Almighty. Who is the last messenger and prophet of Allah Almighty? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Holy Quran is the fourth and last book, which is the most comprehensive 
of all other books. Allah Almighty revealed this book through Jibrail alayhi salam. The Archangel. Its revelation to the last Prophet Muhammad wasallam was spread over a period of almost 23 years. So Quran is unique among all holy books. So what makes Quran unique? How is Quran unique? Muslims believe that the other three books were also revealed by Almighty Allah, but human beings could not keep them safe. Earlier scriptures and books have either been lost or tampered by the people. None of the previous books exists in its original form or in the language it was revealed in. Quran is the only book which remains exactly as it was revealed more than 400 years ago. Nothing has been taken from it or added to it. In fact, Allah himself has taken responsibility of its protection from alteration and corruption. Allah said, Indeed, we have sent down this advice and we must surely are its guardians. The basic principles of religion, beliefs in the unity of Allah, His attributes, prophethood, day of judgment, concept of reward and punishment, orders of offering prayers and charity, etc. are the common teachings of all revealed books. However, the details of laws were different in the previous books according to the requirement of the people and the particular time. Each of the previous books was for the guidance of some specific nation and for, for some limited time period. But, but the Holy Quran was sent for the whole mankind till the day of judgment. Quran does not only contain some warnings and pieces of advice, but it is a complete code of life. The Holy Quran confirms the previous revelations and points out and corrects some of the errors made by the people. Thus, the Holy Quran perfects and completes divine revelation. So, my dear students, this was our today's lecture and I hope you would be able to understand each and everything and if you have any queries, you may ask me through my WhatsApp number and don't forget to press to subscribe the channel and press the like button as well.